my macros of segregation and discrimination. Oh, we are like exiles in our own land. This one, we, we either make or mark this country. All over the world. I am leaving the White House. Thank you, Prince. We've taken your point. We've taken your point. Thank you, Prince. Yes, yes. I was, yes. I was yes. trying to. I was trying to draw down what I was saying before he interrupted. You see, he has mentioned it, or I don't know. Somebody mentioned it. It is first and foremost because we allow this thing to have gone far without any. As I said, it's like this government business is nobody's business. He has said it. The law must be allowed to take its position, beginning from the police right down to the law course. People are taking the laws into their hands, probably because they don't have that particular faith in what the law could do. If people are punished, it's not as if people don't jump kills abroad. It's not as if they don't do bad things. But the fact is that anyone who does any particular bad thing within the next 24 to 48 hours is caught. The law is In the Nigeria, law. You, I think the, the, the sister of one of them was saying yesterday that the police were even around. Mm. And the statement they made was, burn them. Yes. Oh. And they went away. And that is the type of society we have. It's not as if we don't have good people in government now. I, I agree with you. We have the Okonja Iwanas of this world. But they also don't perform the duties after the policy is made. Somebody I, does I beg, that. I, and I, what I is beg it? your pardon, Mr. Yes. Kalawale. Please hold that thought. We have another caller on the yes, line. Thank you. Hello. Morning, John. Good morning. Please, I want you to know something that is very, very important. What is going on in this country. Before Jonathan became president, I want you to know that he is a member of a, a group called Olumba Olumba. Obu. It's a court group that sucks blood. Now, he made a covenant with the devil to become president. I know you will not like what I'm telling you. Find out what I'm telling you. Sorry, we will okay. not allow you to use this as opportunity to say things that may not be um, validated or verified. So please do not make statements that we cannot verify in any way. You're not in the studio. You don't have documentary evidence. So do not allege that anybody signed any deal that we cannot verify. So please go ahead and make your point very quickly. Thank you. Okay. Especially since, since the person yes. religion yes. here religion yes. is yes. our problem in this country. To give their it's own point of view. As, yes. as I was saying, yes. what Nigerians are expecting now is this. Not what we call fire brigade approach to things. Be proactive, do things at the right time, the right thing at the right time. And, and as the caller said, we are tired of the government is sad about what happened. Therefore, the government is saying we shall apprehend. I think prevention is always better than allowing things to go wrong. And this is the time for us now, now to begin to think. In fact, what we in the labor movement are asking is this. Is it not time now that we begin to think? It's not time now that we begin to act. The language we have in the labor movement is stop agonizing. Organize. Organize. Government should first organize. They should organize us. They should lead us well. They should show us the way. Justice should be done at the right time. Governance should be proper. should be transparent. It should be clear to people. Every one of us should be, should be involved. In one form or the other, we should be appreciated. Our elections must be transparent. It must be free and fair. We should elect our own people. I Who will listen I to us? The, the issue of this state police should even come in at this point in time. Look at it. We don't, the police we have today, they don't have enough capacity. For example, in your state, they only have 7,000 police for governing about 4 million, more than 4 million people. The same thing in Nigeria. Most of the policemen we have there, they are escort, uh, escorting uh, expatriates and everything. I'll give you two instances. Before it happened, they didn't know. They were there looking at them. And then student even organized to go and organize a repressive attack. No police to even stop them. It tells you that the capacity of the police we have over there is not even enough. And governor are saying we need state police. And people are saying, some people are saying, Sorry, up to I, today I, that I don't think, think, I don't think, talking to our earlier about I beg your pardon. Yeah. Is this a direct indictment of our security apparatus? Sure. Where I, I, I should I should think so. First and foremost, like he said, there was I mean this thing was this thing was going on not for uh, ten minutes, Five hours. 15, fifteen minutes for for hours. Okay. There was okay. not intervention from that okay. side. Okay. But okay. talking about solution, I think I want to talk about solution. I beg your pardon. Okay. Now, having agreed that this is a direct indictment, yeah. what option do the people then have when things like this happen? They cannot go to the police. You say the police is not 
Adi, the number yeah, of adding capacity. Yeah, no, so no, no, what no, do no, the no, people no, do? No, the popul- the, no, no, we don't have to. Before you react to that, please. No, we have another caller. Sorry. Hello, Derek. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, the name is not Dere, the name is Harry. Eric. Eric. Yeah, this is Harry calling from Better Could yeah, you please hello? reduce the volume of your television said, Eric, please? Oh, we, lo- uh, we lost Eric. Eric. Eric, do try again, Eric. Yes. Now, justice in this case must not only be done, it must be seen to have been properly done in this matter. Two, he made mention of one thing that is very important. That is division within the political class. The, unless we, no, it's, I'm not saying that people should, we should have one party, but on matter that is of civic responsibility, there should be question within the political class. Even in America, in Britain, that's what we are. Things that of national interest do not require partisan division. approach. We must approach it as citizens of a country and, and with as one autobus, voice. with one voice. We must all rise to condemn this and we must put at the disposal of our government consider views, opinion, and suggestion on how to, uh, how to move forward. Well, in particular, in Sorry, this very... Doctor, we must take another okay. call. Morning, Chris. <laughs> That's we lost Chris second. again. Okay. Now, let, let me just say here that we, we, are, we are looking... We seem to be looking specifically at the Alu 4, but we're talking about spate of violence uh, nationwide. nationwide yeah. Mubi, um, Bola Ige, mm-hmm. those killed in, um, in, in Kogi State, the, the, the bombings in churches in Plateau State. We're looking at all of them together. I mean, this is happening, like you yeah. said, <laughs> on a daily basis. Well, the Uniport the, 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 the case, you know, it looks like... A barbaric, uh, a, a, it's, it's a, a point of a, contact. A, 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 a barbaric uh, uh, Nollywood uh, art. art. Okay. You get the point? Sorry, just yeah. before you continue, let mm. me point to another one for you. Bayero University. They went in there, people were in church, and they were shut down like animals. That too is quite graphic. It's quite yes. disturbing. Yeah. There are so many other instances where these things are happening. What is wrong with us as a people? Because we can blame the government from today okay. till eternity. No, it's not government. As a, no, we can blame the government. It's not the just government. Government apparatus. You know, uh, uh, sorry, sir. Se- security. Sorry. Mm-hmm. security. Government apparatus is the security. Policemen, soldiers, and you name it. We can blame all of them from now till eternity. But us, as a people, let yes. us look inward Need and let us start. That, is, that is exactly what I've been talking about. Probably I've not explained myself in a way that it could be clear. I'm saying that this is a nation where you find that right from the beginning, we seem to praise and we, 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 know we idolize somebody who is doing the wrong thing. And we permit the guilty to go unpunished. Wow. And, we, and we also sentence people who are guiltless, just like these young people. And we make tribal things look big, and the big ones look very tribal. Now, what do you expect we as a nation to do when we discover that some people are called mafia who steal at the oil sector, and this mafia could just go away with money? What could we do? When channels Sorry, have can assisted I break us. you just for one second, and I understand we've got a caller. Um, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, please make your point quickly. Oh, um, good, good morning. Um, I'm calling from Port Harcourt. I really want to say that it's very disheartening, the situation that we found ourselves. Very, very pitiable. Um, the security apparatus are there but they are not working. And it seems that the general population is in a state of confusion. I listened to um, one senator, I can't remember the name, and he made a submission in the Senate House that it's as if why they are making so much um, statement about it is because it's more like it's high profile, like the uh, kids that were killed, the young men that were killed, it's very bad. I feel it's very, very bad. But this has been happening, and nobody says anything. I remember way back, way back, 
that if you are caught stealing, you're killed. And the police will be aware of it and something will happen. So I think we have come to the point that we, everybody just, you know, takes the law into his hands. And the police is not doing anything about it. I wouldn't know if I would be right to say that we have been failed by the police. If the uh, sister to the brother who was there said that one of the policemen said bury them alive or burn them alive, then it should put us on inquiry. What is the police command in reverse doing? Why would they track that and see what actually happened? If somebody actually said that, if police was actually around, if they ever came around, who, what patrol van came to that point? Those things can be traced. And if a patrol van came there and left without doing anything at all, then they should be caught in the shelf. They should be treated as if they had no regard for their jobs. Fine is high profile and we are talking. But if we go down to the nitty gritty, into the villages, these things happen on a daily basis and nobody talks about it. It's very, very painful. If we want to succeed, we need to sit down. Fine, we'll talk about this one week, two weeks, and it goes down, and everybody continues, life as usual. We will not go back to the drawing board, we will not go back to see what happened, why it happened, the immediate and the remote causes, so that they will not happen. We are tired of coming, making calls, you gentlemen and ladies, who come and sit down there and talk beautifully, we understand it. We are getting tired of that. Let us be proactive, let us walk. That's the only way we'll get out of this whole thing. Thank you so much. I think, I think the president, in, in a summary, this is what should be. And the president has started it. When you are given an assignment in government or in any, any, in any department, even in the private sector, perform that job properly and adequately and efficiently. That is why he has issued a performer in, uh, bond to his ministers. That is to say the president himself accepted that his ministers were not performing well in the past. And we, the, we've also seen the action of the National Assembly. Whether they are doing so in good faith or not, they have also said budget must be implemented. Because a well-implemented budget will bring jobs. It will revitalize the economy. There will be transformation. The country will move forward again. I do hands that we have today. Some of them will be employed. And there will be less crime as a result or consequence of some of these actions. The police must be able to do what they are supposed to do. And the justice system, right away from the police, should be seen, as you said, to be transparently seen, to be going on well. Not, not justice that you wait for months or for years. Yes. Or a situation in which the policeman is frustrated when he catches an armed robber and he gets to the, to, to the court. The armed robber is freed and the armed robber com comes back to chase the policeman. Then the policeman will look for an alternative way of doing justice. And sometimes they will even go to the extent of even killing armed robbers that have not been taken to court because they, they also don't have faith in the court. And we as a people, we should, not, we, should, we should not celebrate people who are criminals. We should try as much as possible. And we will continue to celebrate them as long as we are poor, as long as we are ignorant, as long as we are deprived. If we see that what we do in the electoral field does not work. If our votes do not count, if somebody should tell me that, wait, whether you vote for me or not, I will be elected. I will be frustrated. Okay, and the frustration can come out in several ways. It is poverty in our nation a good reason for us to lose common sense and not have any feeling for other human beings? When Kama says men are conditioned <coughs> by their economic <coughs> circumstances, I want to believe that... Um, it, 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 poverty, in a way, is one of is it, is it, a factor. It's a critical factor in social misbehavior. Because a man who is temporarily has lost hope in all fronts, is likely not to be a reasonable person. It's most likely not to be a reasonable person. So we are the government has its own responsibility in that area, and so also citizens. We have what we need now is a renewal and a revival of our cultural values. We have lost our humanity. We need to regain it. We have lost it totally. You will find out that we are all, the Bible says, we are all seen and become short of the glory of God. 
That's the way I see the case of Nigeria. At every level you look at it, there is this problem here. We must collectively look inward now and stand up as a nation. Look, other nations in other climes, they have faced one problem or the other. Yes. But collective, a collective decision to move forward is critical. At one time in Britain, by 12 o'clock, the parliament of Britain cannot, uh, British parliament cannot sit. By 12 o'clock, they are already drunk. They are already drunk. They can't come back and see. That's in 1880. But here came is a, a group of people. Uh, they they call them the Puritans. The Puritans said they would do things purely and they use, I'm not trying to preach religion here, they use the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as their own uh, platform. You can also use whatever, uh, whatever religious uh, faith. faith that you have. They use it as a platform to correct their nation. And it, it got to a point that people were looking for these Puritans to, to, uh, to employ because they were efficient, they were committed, they were doing their own things. As they said, they are they are responsible to God. They are doing it as if you are the bo the boss, yeah. But there is another boss. So as a result, it this thing began to affect the economy. And it, remotely, although it's, it's story I don't say it, is one of the things that led to the uh, to the industrial revolution. So as a people, we must think deeply. Homes must be put. Parents must be responsible. Uh, teachers must be responsible. And I said it that the other time that the military contributed it. They were the one who, who destroyed the pillar of education in Nigeria, who disembarked the university system. When I was in Ife, we, Ife was a community. You have everything there. You know, a university is not just a question of going to classroom mm -hmm. and you are taught. Yes. You know, you learn by interaction a lot of values. In those well, days, there was, that a time, there was a time in 1982, we visited the parliament of, of a state. I won't mention that state. And at that time, I was PR of EFS students, you know, and we look at the parliament and say, ah, this one is not as vibrant as the student representative council of EFS. <laughs> and then look at these people. And you get the point now. So the, stu the students who they have played a critical role, like he said, in the life of, the, of this nation. Uh, but what is important is that community, there must be community respons uh, responsibility. You are responsible to the institutions that are placed in your, in your area yeah. because these institutions have, have impact on the lives of, of, the, of, the, of, this, of this community. Above all, above all, law and order is important. No matter the, the, what the man has done to you, you do not, under the Constitution of Nigeria, you do not have the right to Kill take him. laws into Kill your own hand. This, uh, this, this, this case of this, uh, of, of, of this, uh, this, uh, this the students, I, I think it should not be given to ordinary court. I think we must set up, we, yeah. through the parliament, and, uh, ask, and we must set up a proper tribunal. This thing must be televised, the trial of everybody. Because I read in the newspaper that even the Oba, or either the Oba or the chief of that area, yeah. ordered that this boy is be killed. Let bring him here. If he's guilty, he must. People must, I think people must face firing squad on this one because we must start to put our society right by taking some drastic measure. If we take drastic measure, this, if, if you allow the thing to just go, it will encourage other community to do it. Uh, uh, well, it is so. interesting you mentioned uh, firing squad because it was on television that recently we had the uh, Senate president mention that uh, maybe capital punishment I support. Uh, might uh, have to be brought in. But moving away very quickly from that, in terms of reorientation of our youths and university undergraduates, you've been through the system, you've been a leader in their midst, and you do understand uh, the psyche and the subculture as you referred to it. What do we need to begin to do to change the orientation of our youths and that subculture such that it becomes one that creates the next generation of leaders that will serve this nation well. Well, I will still come back to government. Because uh, where tradition is lacking, striking the sample is highly imperative. If you go to Western world today, particularly in the United States, when you finish the capstone of, capstone of every course you uh, study, you are going to study leadership and your civic responsibility. It's going to be your capstone. You get, whether you study philosophy, whether you study everything, you are going to do that in particular. In Nigeria, we have not been doing that. And also, we are suffering, like you said, we are suffering from military hangover. We have not been able to do anything you know, to talk to young people, to demobilize you know, their kind of reasoning. We have to start doing that. Demilitarize. Uh, yeah, demilitarize yeah. our people. Yeah, sure. Yeah, orientation and mentality. And also, our leaders also, they have to lead by examples let me tell you, if you look at these people now, they didn't even know what they've done is, was bad. Mm. 
the reason they allow people to be videoing and everything, if they want to do it, <laughs> they will not allow it. They've seen how police will just line people with judicial murder. Blah, 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 blah. They've seen all that kind of thing, so they don't even see, they know. And two, you see, he said about, doctor said, said something about religion. Every corner of Nigeria today, he said that you find church. In fact, those who kill Alu people, I tell you some of them will just come from money mass, and some of them will even go back to church. <laughs> Why is it that we have plenty of churches in Nigeria, most and everything, and the crime is still growing every day? Those who are stealing our money today, they will steal our money and they will still go to church and say, Baba God, I thank you. They will come and give testimony. In this country, to get, ad ad to, to get admission, you, it, it's a testimony. When you get admission, it's testimony. To get a job, it's testimony. It's very important that President Gulag Jonathan is in the best position to do it, having been a teacher himself. At this point in time, show a kind of leadership. Come out with policy. Which of course we have to reorientate our young people. Look at Nance today. Nance has divided into it because the governor of A will be interested in Nance leadership, the governor of B will be interested in Nance leadership. And all what is happening falling from A and D today is a sample of a failing state. I'm not blaming it on the present good luck, Jonathan. Look at what you said in BUK. We have a detachment of military just a kilometer to where it happened. And it's happening on campuses. Our students are getting militarized. Killing people is not even new to them again. This is not the first time this will be happening. But at this point in time, we must be able to stop. I mean, say no, and never, it will never happen again. Okay, That's Carlson, it. Uh, your final yeah. word now. Well, I just want to say something about the orientation of the youth and what this government, I've seen that this government is doing. Can you do that in one sentence? Yes, I, 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 well, you. one sentence. Where, where, the, <laughs> <laughs> where the government, first, let, I, I will refer to the, the UN. Now, apart the second aspect of that, you are the you, you win. No, it's your final word. No, 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 you, you, you know what? You know, maybe yes. even if I pay for this, I have to do that. <laughs> okay, no, we don't have the time. <laughs> okay, have the time. Is, that, is that there is this internship that the government is putting together with a view to reduce tension as regards employment among the youths and also to encourage our young uh, university uh, students that there is hope for them if, if they come out. And, I, and also in the public affairs that has just been established, it's also putting a lot of program together to interface with the Nigerian University students. And I think this will start very soon. Okay. Um, Mr. Kolaole. Yeah, I want to agree with him that things are happening all over the whole place. But uh, we must state to government that there is no time, that it can never be slow now. We should be on the fast lane. The people must be brought together. The people must be sensitized. Those who are in governance, those who are in government, they must know their responsibility and perform it. Whichever department you are now, there is a need for an urgent step that will lead us to that sanity, that happiest people that we used to be, that culturally rich Nigeria that all of us know. Yeah. And this is the time to start, and we should do it as urgently as possible. Thank you very much. We have been looking at how to stem the spate of violence, which has become uh, rather rampant in Nigeria. And we were chatting with uh, the Secretary General of the Trade Union Congress, Mr. John Kolawale, as well as a former NANS President, Mr. Dare Ogunlano, uh, and Dr. Olusoya Awoso, who was a former student union leader and a public relations consultant. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming to share your insights with us, even though the pictures that you all have painted are rather grim. But uh, we still look forward to a better Nigeria, for which we pray every day.